Hi, I'm continuing from a colorful custom brush with P5JS and adding a different shape of brush. So instead of just a um, row of brush uh, bristles, it'll be a grid, a 2D grid of them. And then I'm going to rewrite it in the with uh, directly using the canvas, um, avoiding P5 altogether, and I'll show you some um, performance speedups as a result of that. Okay, so the code for everything is here in my GitHub repository, DC Brichetti uh, Web Games, and P5JS Custom Brush, and there are five files here. Let me demonstrate the three different ways of rendering the brushes. Here is the original way with P5JS. And on the bottom, in a minute, you're going to see there, average time of 100 brush strokes. So 40 milliseconds for that. And let's just make a note of that in a spreadsheet here. So 40.56. 40.56 milliseconds. Okay, now let's look at the custom brush using the canvas, using the canvas directly. So this is much faster. Um, 0 0.29, should we call it? And finally, the custom brush using the canvas with the brushes for all the 360 different hues pre-rendered. And this is quite a bit faster still. 0 0.027, let's call it. 0 0.027. Okay, so quite a difference. P native P5JS, 40 Point fifty six milliseconds, um, and I should say I'm not an expert expert with P5JS, so there may be ways to improve it. But um, by I'm becoming convinced that working with the canvas directly is going to be faster. Um, whether you need it to be faster depends on the application. Okay, so I'm going to come back in a minute and make a graph of this. I think, but for now, let me just um, walk through some of the code. Um, so the P5 sketch, um, the only things I changed are um, to make it the square instead of a, a row, and that's with the extra loop. And then I moved the code to draw each um, brush stroke um, into the mouse moved uh, method instead of the draw method. Um, why draw if you're not moving it? Uh, let's look at the canvas code now, uh, where we're directly manipulating the canvas. And um, so let's um, see what I want to explain. A lot of it's the same. Um, drawing the brush, that's pretty much the same code, except, um, well, let's see. In the sketch, how do we fill the rectangle? We use the P5 rect function. And in the canvas code, we use the fill rect uh, method of the, of the context. And what is the context? Well, let's come back to that. Um, and setup, this is not to be confused with the P5 setup function. I just chose that name. And then down here at the bottom, that's what I call first. And um, so the, there's a canvas element on the page. So let's look here. There's a canvas element with an ID of canvas. And that's what we're getting here. And then um, I extract the width and height of it and then get the get a 2D context. So it's the context object that we do the graphics operations on. And set the fill style to black and then fill the black background. And then um, here's where this pre-render business comes in. So um, we get a big speed up if we can um, pre-make 
what one of these kind of a brush touches looks like in each of the 360 colors. So that's what's happening here. We're creating an array to hold these pre-rendered brushes. And then we are, um, in each element, we're placing the, a canvas that we build for the particular hue. So uh, you can go and look up some of these new features of array that allow me to create an array on one line by calling a, a function for each element. So let's go and look at this. Here's create brush canvas for hue. And here, um, so how many canvases do we have all together? We got the main canvas that we're, that everything is in, this big canvas here. And then we have 360 more canvases, one for each possible hue. And that's what we're doing here. We create the canvas and um, let's see, where's this coming from? We're setting the width and the height of the canvas from the brush width, which comes from up here. It's a constant at the top of this file. And then the height, the same as the width because it's square. And then we get a context so we can draw onto this little mini canvas. And then we call draw brush, the same draw brush function that we call when we're not pre uh, pre-rendering, um, but we render, we draw the brush into this context, and then we return the canvas. So this creates one canvas for each hue. Let's go back to where we called this. Okay, then we add an event listener for key down. Yeah, I didn't even demonstrate the, the rotating and stuff and the auto hue. Um, I can turn on the automatic rotation. I think you saw that before, but you didn't see it with the, um, the new square brush. So press shift R again to turn that off. Okay. Uh, where was I? Um, for, so let's look at this, uh, key down event listener. So there's a function here called key down. This is the same code from the previous video. Then, for the mouse move event, we do the code in this block here, from here to here. And um, the context save is kind of like the P5JS um, push. And restore is like the P5JS pop. Um, okay, and then we translate, we translate, the, um, okay, so this is a mouse move. We, we translate the, our drawing, our context. Yeah, we, <laughs> we're getting ready to draw where the mouse pointer is. That's what this is doing. And then we rotate based on the rotation angle, which is set by that, either that auto rotating thing or are using a key to rotate. Then, um, this performance now gets, it's, kind of like a high resolution timer, uh, or it gives you the time, uh, it gives you the very precise time down to something like uh, five microseconds, is it? Let me just see here. I think I, did I save it? No, I think I closed that. Um, and then we either draw using the pre-rendering method where we um, draw. Okay, so let's look at this. Brushes is our pre-rendered brushes. And this is an array indexed by the hue. The hues go from 0 to 359. So what we're doing is taking, the, taking this canvas and we're drawing that onto the main canvas. And we are um, shifting by the um, half the brush width and half the brush height, which, which is the same. And if we're not pre-rendering, then we just call draw brush, which you saw a moment ago is down here. That draws the brush. The idea with the pre-rendering is that we avoid this loop in a loop. All these fill rects. So if you've got a, what's the brush? What's the brush width? It's a hundred. So you're doing, you're doing. Um, well, also you got to consider the bristle separation. So how many bristles are there? I don't know. Let's say they're 10. So 10 times 10 is 100 times you're doing a fill rect for every time you're moving the mouse. The idea is if we pre, 
render those this drawing operation into a, a new canvas, then it's just a matter of splat all at once. We drop that pre-drawn image onto the bigger canvas. Uh, and then here we, um, we we have this this variable here: strokes and stroke time. Strokes is how many brush strokes we've made, and stroke time is um, a running sum of the amount of time we've spent drawing, uh, doing the stroking. Uh, so here we're adding what time it is now minus when we started drawing. So if it took two milliseconds to draw, we're adding two to stroke time. And then every, you see, so we add one to strokes, and then we do the modulo 100, see if that's equal to zero, and what this does is every 100 times through, we put out one of these console messages. So you see 900, 1,000, 1,100, every 100 times through, we put out another message. And then the auto hue and the auto rotate are as before. Okay, why don't we just finish up by graphing this. So we have this, we'll graph the performance results, um, and we'll make a column chart. I think all these defaults are good. And then you can see here's uh, P5JS over 40 milliseconds. And then the canvas is some low number that we can't read. And then the pre-rendered is the same. So let me just set the axis, the y-axis to a logarithmic scale here. Can we do that? Yes. So now you can see it a little bit better. Um, and I don't know why this doesn't start at zero. Something about the logarithmic scale, I guess. But anyway, here's P5JS. This is that around... Oh, here, it's, there's the number right there, 40.56. And here's the canvas, 0 0.29. And the canvas pre-rendered, 0 0.027. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that look at improving the appearance of the brush and improving the speed of it by using the HTML5 canvas directly and then improving it additionally by pre-rendering the brushes in all... Uh, 360 different hues. So long.